Nordstrom moves himself to the outside lanes, then it takes everybody's focus off of him. Here is the next event, which is the women's 400 freestyle for the S10 classification. This first eight swimmers in lanes two to seven. All of the teenagers in this one. Was. Oh, I remember being a teenager for a long time ago now, but not as long as it was for you. Thanks for that, Liz. That's lovely. Remind me of my bright children. <laughs> There's Jabowska from Poland in lane number four. Bianca Pap, 16-year-old from Hungary in lane number five. Jabowska, Paul, probably the class act of this heat, the bronze medalist last year. 19-year-old now. For that entry time, 4.36. Two young Hungarian swimmers by the side. Luca Sos, the 15 year old. Bianca Pap, 16 year old. And also in lane number six, Chantel Zaydevelt from the Netherlands, who's had a good year so far, hasn't she? Absolutely, broke a world record in the 100 breaststroke that stood since 2000. So, again, strange to see her doing the 400 freestyle, but I guess when you've got youth on your side, uh, you can still compete in all the events. We'll see how she goes. That is the Dutch swimmer in lane number six. Uh, she I was going to say she leads there, but she doesn't quite lead because Lena Vats from Sweden just got the touch there by seven one hundredths of a second. And this is going to be a very tight race if the opening 50 is anything to go by. Wolska, the red cap of Poland the most experienced of the field. Hungarians got a number of young swimmers that have come through. They've got a very experienced team. They've got multi-Paralympians in their team, and they've got this kind of raft of youngsters that have suddenly appeared. It is one thing that Hungarians seem to do very well. They, they use their older Paralympians, the more experienced athletes, to really provide that support to nurture their youth. And uh, Bianca Pat was fourth at the last European Championship, so as young as she was then, she'll be looking now to use that experience and try and sneak onto that podium at this competition. Well, they're all in the mix at the moment. Another heat to come after this one with six swimmers and uh, a couple of quality swimmers as well in that second heat. So these swimmers, as in the, the first event, be anxious to get that position in the top four, certainly try and enable them to progress to the final. Five swimmers in the mix so far. Yeah, that's still with that lead, looking pretty good. Swedish swimmer, in the early stages. She's actually starting to pull away now, and it's probably, if she can continue to do so, that'll provide her with a good comfort, because if they all stay like this, it'll come down to a sprint finish, and it'll tend to be those athletes who have the upper limb impairments who will be, be fair better going down that final 50 meters. Again, it's the S10 classification, minimal impairment. Lena Bats going over there, it's a good lead. One, nearly one and a half second. Tomorska in second position. Bianca Papp still in third there. And do you think the likes of Bianca Papp will have looked at who she's next to? She's next to the, the World Championship bronze medal and say, well, you know, am I going to stick with the uh, the Blonska, this one, is that going to be the tactics for her? It looks like she's doing her job very well, if that is the case. I think you're always aware of the athletes that are in the field with you, and you can, as we say, go down that route, but you've got to know that you can out-sprint them if you're going to do that, because you can't control what time they're going, and it might be that they're swimming on their best time, but it might be that they've decided to take it 20 seconds easy, as we saw with the men, um, in which case you can really come undone when it comes to touching that wall in the final me few meters. Well, doesn't look like any of these three swimmers are going to come undone just yet. They are looking pretty good indeed. So coming down to the finish end with 100 to go. Pretty easy. Pace, uh, none of them really on their best pace. Clean about as well. She didn't enter an entry time, so sometimes these outside lanes, uh, maybe 
little bit of a surprise for some of the swimmers. She looks like she's digging in now, trying to hold that pace. The other two in the centre look a little bit more comfortable. And uh, Wojska looks the most comfortable of all. Breathing to her left-hand side, having a look at Bianca Papp, making sure of her position. Very close between these two. Yeah, and Lena Woods has looked like she's digging in now, so that even though she had that early lead, she doesn't want these two in the middle lanes to get too far away from her. She's really worked hard for a place in the final. Voska now changing her breathing side. She's changing her side there to keep an eye on the Hungarian. She's breathing to her left, going down towards the turn end. Breathing to her right now. It's a very, very tight finish. They are racing this one out. Bianca Pat wants this one, and she has got it. In 4.50.09. And Rubia Jablonska in second position. That's pretty comfortable stuff for these two swimmers. Expect them to go a lot faster in the final this evening. finish and you can see that they were both looking to try and get a good position for tonight's final because they they both watched the, the other competitors and to do that you need to be in one of the middle lanes so that's obviously the tactics that Bianca Papp is going for tonight and I wonder if these two may be in contention for the medals tonight Bianca Papp takes that one 450.09 it'll be a long scale 450.62 Lena Vat in a good position, 453.10. That may well be enough for her to make the final, but of course that depends on the outcome of the next heat.